are back with another episode of Ableton with Autopilot 102. This episode, I'm going to show you how to arrange all your musical jams that you've done from my previous video and export them to an MP3 and share them with all your mates. Let's do this. Okay, so we've got a brand new Ableton project already set up, ready to go. Uh, I say set up, it is, I've not done anything. Just ignore these two tracks here because that is my microphone, which enables me to speak to you right now. So you start off with two MIDI tracks, two audio tracks. This example, I'm not gonna use one of the MIDI tracks, so I'm just gonna delete that. So I just press delete on uh, the top of the track there. Just make sure that your global quantize is set to one bar there, one bar. You can turn your metronome off for this one. Um, so just turn that off. Oh, just realized it's playing. So you can just double tap stop there. That uh, one stop stops it and then double tap resets the counter back to zero or one. Nice tempo is 90 BPM. You can change it by double clicking um, and that resets it to 120. You can single click on it and then type in whatever you want, like 65 or something like that. But we're just gonna click on it and type in 90. Okay, cool. You can do whatever you want though, experiment. So I've been through a bank of samples already and I've got a few lined up. This is my drum track. So basically you just get some drum loops. Like I said, watch the Ableton 101 video. You'll see how to download loops and samples and everything. So here we go. This is my drum track. So just drums there. Let's have a listen. Yeah. Okay, nice drum beat. Okay, so I've got a bass guitar here. Just get a bit of a bass going. Again, just click the play button just before. Whoa, that's a bit loud. We'll turn it down. So as you can see on this little fade here you can turn it up and down just click and drag okay so what else we got oh in fact what we can do is double click on this sample okay it's a little bit long that phrase so what we can do is shorten it a little bit just take that just make it one bar there we go and obviously you can change it to a different bit of the phrase if you want and it'll just keep looping it if you just want to do that. Ah, funky. But for now, we're just going to keep it to this, this section here. Okay, what else have we got? What else have we got? Um, we've got these nice. So to instead of opening a new track or inserting a new track, you just bring the sample over here onto the right and it'll add a new track here. So actually what we're gonna do, you can click here and control R and rename this. So we're gonna rename that to drums or alternatively, alternatively you can right click and just go to rename. Okay, we'll call that face. Let's have a listen to this. bit out of tune now so let's see what we can do let's see there we go so I've just been messing around about messing around with the transpositions so you can transpose so I've just I'll just show you there okay So I move that to minus two, which brings it in line with this sample. Double click on, on this one here, double click on there. Transposition zero, you can, again. So if you press control and up on your keyboard, you can bring it up 
one semitone. ST stands for semitone. Okay, cool. What else we got? Okay, we've got guitars. Okay, we'll bring the guitar on it. Whoa, it's a bit loud. Okay, that's a little bit weird. Okay, maybe... Oh, there we go. So if we get that, I'm just listening to an interesting part. Let's see. That's quite nice. Let's bring the things down a little bit. Okay, we've got a nice groove going there. Nice groove. Yeah, we've got these little vocal scratches in here as well. Let's see, press play on that. Oh my god, that's really loud as well. Nice. Okay, so. Again, let's add a little bit of a MIDI track in here. So we'll get instruments, go to sampler, see what we've got, pad, uh, galactic pad. Let's have a listen. Okay, make sure your computer MIDI keyboard is on. Galactic MIDI from computer keyboard, and then arm it. And then we've got... Okay, so to add a little spice and a bit of flair to your sound, what you can do, you see these sends here, you've got A and B. So if you look over here, you've got A and B over here. Okay, A is your reverb, and B is your delay. So what you can do, is already preset up for you, so you don't have to do anything. You just go, let's do that. And then a bit of delay. if you want as well okay global stop just so you know is that one there I'll show you that in a minute um, but if you just go to these patterns here play these and a nice little bit of ambiance drums playing there we go Okay, so we want to record a bit of a... Let's see. If you're wondering what I'm doing on the keyboard, have a look at the uh, 101 video. I'm basically playing with uh, ASD, FG, HJKL. And then you press record there. Okay, if you play the bum note in there, you just double click it. Let's have a look. What have we got? Dum boom boom boom. We'll move that over there. That's what you can do. If you want to listen to these notes, you can modify them individually if you want. So you just click on this little headphone thing there, and when you click on the note, you can actually hear it. If you don't want that on, you can just untick it. You don't hear it, but it's very useful. Having it on. So, uh. Okay, that'll do. So, if you drag this little window up. 
see these little fellas down here? The, this is velocity, so that means how hard you're actually pressing the thing. So you can bring this down, just down there. I do. Okay, cool. So we've got a bit of. We're back to where we were at the end of 101 video. We're just jamming out. So this is where the interesting stuff starts happen happening. All right. So what have we got here? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six tracks. Let's just rename these. Pan. Uh, let's see. Pan. Um, what we've got there. Um, let's just press the global stop on there. Okay, that's guitar. This is the vocal effect thing. But vocals, box. Okay. So, this is where the fun starts happening. To turn your keyboard into a bit of a loop station. Just turn off this computer MIDI keyboard, because we're done with that for now. And then what we can do is assign these particular loops to some keys on your keyboard. So let's go. This is uh, the little MIDI button where you can assign um, all your faders and your little MIDI knobs and stuff like that to anything that uh, gets highlighted in blue. The beautiful thing about Ableton is that you can do it with the keyboard as well. So if you click key up here, you can assign any of these things in yellow to a key on your keyboard. For example, if we wanted to start this Galactica pad here, we go number one, just press one. Click that, number two. Click that, and then press number three. Keep going, four, five, six. Okay, so we've got six, six loops all matched up. What I'm gonna do is go down to here on the stop buttons, and then go down to Q, I'm gonna press Q there, I'm going to press W there, E, R, T, Y. So we've got a row of six and another row of six just underneath for stop. What I'm going to do also is go over to here, which is a scene, which would basically trigger all of these at once. So I'm going to click that. I'm going to click zero. And then I'm going to go down to here for global stop. And then P. Okay, so we are good to go now. So pretty much you, you click off key there, we're back to normal. But everything is lined up, ready to go now. You've got to press P, which is down here to global stop all of them. Otherwise, they're still ready to rock. Okay, so let's start off with the bass. Press number three. Simple as that. Simple as that. And then you want to start the drums. Press number two. Here we go, number two, go. Yeah. I might as well stick my light on, and a bit of light on my face. Okay. You can disarm that, by the way. You, we don't need that to be armed right now. Um, okay, we're, we're good to go. Pretty much what we're going to do now is arrange the song. So again, global stop, press P on your keyboard. Right, on the first... Tutorial, I told you to avoid this record button. Now we're going to use the record button. There's various ways of starting a tune, but this is the simplest way. So whatever you want to start the tune off with, press it. So the bass. So we're starting off with the bass. Okay, cool. So double tap stop again. And then let's press record. Right, we're recording now. So this is the actual tune, what everybody's going to hear. Let's press two. Two for drums. Okay, let's bring in the guitar, which is number five. Galactica pad. for a couple more times. Okay. P. 
two, three, four. That was three, two, three, four, and five. <laughs> that was purely a coincidence. Uh, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we are pretty much rocking in a verse here. Right, let's go. If you want to stop a couple, ERT. Let's go with number six. Actually, let's move that. Let's move that back. Shouldn't do that when I'm recording, but Ableton's that good that you can get away with it. Handpack. Bit of galactic, galactica pad. Okay, stick with me here. It's all gonna be worth it. And then we're gonna go P. What? And then zero. Let's go. See what he did there? It triggered the whole entire scene. So this button here triggers every single one of them, starts and playing at the same time. Okay, so what you can do as well is press P and then one. So you can stop everything to stop at the end of the bar and then press the other one before the bar starts to make it start. Practice and you'll get it. You'll understand it. You'll start to feel it. Okay, P. That'll do for the outro. Okay, see it's still counting, still recording, you press stop. So what we've just done is record an arrangement. We can't see it right now. Press the tab key on your keyboard. Boom, look at that. Look at that. Everything's there. Everything's there in order of what you just did. So what we can do, press play. Okay, you can't hear anything right now and I'm just demonstrating this because this is gonna happen to you at some point, probably a few times. All you need to do is press F10 and that will enable the arrangement view timeline. So make sure you press F10, everything gets um, brought into focus and yeah, when you press play, this happens. So it's just following the timeline now. Drums, bass, and then in a second, the guitar's gonna come in. You can zoom in with the uh, control and scroll. And what you can do as well, you just click on here, press Control and E, Control and E. You can highlight that, delete that, and you can just go back to this bit. If you, that's if you don't want it. Just to give you an example on what you can do. Okay, also, what else you can do is if you've got another sample somewhere, but you don't want it to loop, I'll give you an example here. Right, okay, so we've got uh, an extra sample here. Um, let's bring it down, bring it down. Okay, let's have a listen to this. You can solo track, clicking the S. In fact, I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to do that. Okay, I'm going to zoom into this one and then just get that one. Okay. Let's see. Um. Bit out of tune that. Okay, if you click on it, do, 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 do. so you can control, click, and drag. And see you've got these measures of four, one, two, three, four, 
um, which equals 16 in the whole entire bar. That's 16 beats. And music is basically based around the fours, generally. So just bear that in mind. Um, okay, we can just grab that. Control. Oh. Control like that. That tune, let's see. Oh. Oh, that was lucky. Right, we've got. Got to transpose them up to semitones. Okay, it's a little bit loud. What we can do is go back into either this mode. Let's rename that to keys. You can either bring it down in, on this volume here, this one, or in the tab, you can there change it over here. This is your volume. So you can just click and drag up and down like that or single click and minus 10, type it in if you want. I will put a bit of reverb and delay on that. Let's just put that back to normal as well. Okay, uh, so that's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and then gap. We'll drag that over here, so it kicks in. Okay, if you want to add some vocals and you have an audio interface, some of you won't be able to do this because you don't have a microphone or an audio interface with a microphone in, uh, which you need. You can't use a USB microphone in Ableton, unfortunately. So uh, what you can do is right click insert audio track, make sure it's external in, set to your microphone, which is the my microphone channel is number three. Okay, you can put some. In fact, I might get some doubling on this actually. So if I go. Right, okay. This is my other microphone channel. So it's not got compression or anything on it right now. So what you can do now is record, just make sure nothing else is armed. You can record pretty much anything in a range view. So. Let's go. Uh, rename this to new vocals. Come on, cat's bell. Vovols. Right. <clears throat> um, arm the track and basically let's record. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, just dead, dead simple. Yes. Um, so you can just drag that, cut that there, take it off arm, ignore that bit, um, you shouldn't be able to see these bits, okay, let's put them down there, okay, so we've got this new vocals here, yeah. Yeah. let's get some, let's get some reverb on that, this is the reverb thing. So if you want to spice it up a little bit more, we're kind of going into depth there, but I just want to show you very briefly on um, what you need to do in order to, to make it sound a little bit sweeter. So you can get all these effects like phaser, reverb, um, vocoder, all, all that kind of stuff uh, by just dragging and dropping it onto the, onto the track. First off, we're going to go limiter. We're going to get this limiter here. You can go up to search and type in limit. Make sure it's in audio effects as well. Grab the limiter, drag it all the way over to the master track. Oh, did that wrong. Undo, control Z, all the way over to the master track and let go. Okay, see down here, you can click on reverb, delay, master. 
on the master. It's exactly the same as this as well. Reverb, delay, master, down here on the limiter. Okay. What I generally do is have a ceiling, so you click on it and minus 1.5. MP3s make a few artifacts above the um, <clears throat> the set threshold, so it's it's worth if you're working with MP3s to do it like minus two, minus 1.5. Um, okay, so just very briefly play the track and then click on your master thing and see this gain up here. You just basically bring it up very slightly. Until you start seeing. See minus six is there. Say so aim for like minus three. That's a safe bet. And you do need it in quite a loud bit of the track. We had a couple of peaks go to minus six, and that's okay if it's only brief and it doesn't sound bad. Okay, cool. We've got the limiter, which makes it nice and loud. Okay, what else can we do? On the new vocals here, what you can do. So you type in compress, which you can get a compressor there. So you just go put it on there. Or you can uh, drag and drop it onto the new vocals track there. It'll do exactly the same thing. So let's get this bit loop it so we can just oh a minute right let's loop that bit um you can click this thing up here and that'll just loop yeah. this little section here yeah. oh no it won't why won't you do that click here to activate the arrangement loop why why didn't it loop Oh, great. Yeah. I want it loop. Loop selection. There you go. Okay. Yeah. I didn't have that thing selected. I'm an Ableton, obviously. Yeah. Leave me alone. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So we want to put a bit of EQ and compression yeah. on that. So yeah. also EQ, yeah. EQ8 up here. Drag yeah. that behind that compressor. Yeah. Okay. So standard EQ in. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to EQ, um, but standard EQ and you just put a high pass, which you click on the one there, then go to here, and then that one, the high pass. What that does, it gets rid of all the bottom end, so nothing like mucks up your, um, your base or anything like that. So uh, let's see if I can show you the difference. Also, um, if you want to deactivate a plugin, you just click this little yellow thing here. Okay, so I'll show you with and without. Wrong one, solo. Here we go. This is with. Yeah. Yeah. You can't really hear it that much, but there is a lot of sub frequency. If you've got a subwoofer, you'd be able to hear it. Um, okay, so we'll leave it there. It's good that you can't really tell that much difference because it means that you have maintained the integrity of the sound whilst also getting rid of a lot of the sub frequencies. So jobs are good in there. Okay, we're going to compress it now. I mean, what you can do is put a bit of EQ. Okay, we'll leave it there, we'll leave it there. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> right, okay, compressor. Compressor, right, this is how a compressor works. I'm not, again, I'm not gonna tell you the intricate details, but compressors make loud things quieter, and essentially quieter, quieter things louder, so it evens everything out. That's the basics of it. There is a bit more to it, but the ratio, oh, right, hang on a minute. Right, the threshold, is the volume that the compressor yeah. gets triggered at. So you set the threshold yeah. just below the yeah. like the maximum. Yeah. See the gain reduction there? Yeah. Me too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, nice bit of gain reduction there. Yeah. And then we can bring this down a little bit. Yeah. Over here, the volume. Yeah. 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 Lovely jubbly. Okay, take that off the loop thing there. And let's play that. Nice. Okay. You, what you can also do, let's just, I'll just show you a few things. You can go chorus, drag that over. Just make sure that new vocals is selected. Chorus. Oh. So that's just a standard effect. Yeah. Yeah. Just gives it a little bit of spice. And if you wanted to, you could always put a bit of delay over the top of that. We can just go crazy. So the dry and wet is how much of the plugin you can hear versus the original sound. So if you didn't want any of the plugin, it's 100% dry or 0% wet. And if it's uh, completely wet, you won't hear any of the dry signal, just the process. So with reverb and delay, you generally want it uh, like fairly lowish, I would say, you know, 10, 20 percent. And that's obviously on top of the delay that we've already got. We've got a little bit of delay on this bit here on the new vocals, um, plus this delay down here. So just be careful of that if you're using a global delay, global reverb, um, and a specific reverb or, or delay. Um, they, they're going to sort of cross over a little bit. So just be careful. Okay. I think that is it in terms of arrangement and everything. So we're just going to throw this over a little bit. I'm going to copy that. So click it, control, drag over, just highlight these, control, scroll out, and then control. Oh, hang on a minute. Got to do the top bits there. Put that there, just for now. Okie dokie. Right, so this, I want to send it to me mates now. Let's just see how long the actual track is. So that's the ending of the track. So we've got 65 bars there, which is like 2 minutes and 2 minutes 50. Okay, so just remember 65, so that's fairly important. Just to show you, if you actually press a clip in here, and then you go back to arrange, See, it's not right now. See, this has been deactivated because I've clicked it. So basically what you need to do is press F10 and then it goes back to arrangement view. So I needed to show you that because if you press play on that one and that one, see all these go inactive. So you need to make sure that you press F10. When you're playing an arranged track, make sure you press F10. It's really important. Um, so that everything's activated, ready to go. When you're exporting, make sure F10 has been pressed. F10. Okay, so we go to File, Export Audio Video, and a Track Master. The track length was like 65 bars. I always like to do just a little bit extra, just in case, in case there's any tail ends of reverb or anything like that. So, or delay as well. So 65 bars, don't need to worry about any of these. Um, so that might be on for you. PCM, encode PCM. That's a WAV file. It depends if you're on a Mac or not, whether you've uh, got that, I'm pretty sure. For the time being, click that off. You don't need a WAV file. It's super high res. If you were going to release a track, I would say, yes, put that on. Bit depth, you, if you recorded in 24 or 16, it's to totally up to you. But for now, we're just going to export it to an MP3 with a constant bit rate of 320 kilobits per second. So click that on. Oh. 
If you're on a Mac, it might be a different, I'm not too sure, but that should be right. Then you choose export, um, Ableton with Autopilot 102, exported audio. Okay, I think we're done. Let me just check my folder. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of mixes that I've been working on. Um, where is it? Where is it? Ableton with Autopilot 102. Drag that back in to Ableton. There you go. That's it. You press. Sorry, you press solo on this one. There you go. There you go. That is it. That is how you export a track to an MP3 to send it to your mates. You've got a little bit of EQ and compression uh, tips there. You know how to chop up little samples and place them wherever you want. Yeah. Awesome. I've got a few things that I'm going to show you in the next video, but this is pretty much everything that you need to get up and running and making your own absolute bangers. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got something from it. I get massively motivated by your creativity and inspiration uh, when it comes to messing around with Ableton. It's, it's amazing. I was so, I was blown away, absolutely blown away by the, um, the music that you made. Crazy, especially like your first goal was great. And then all you guys' second goes next level. Seriously, next level. I'm really excited to hear what you're going to make with the, all this information. Please do go and enjoy yourself. Be good to each other. And I'll see you on the next one.